Gentlemans, welcome back to absolutely fucking killing it. Today at Cheat Especial. You ever had an idea rolling around your brain pan for so long that you took it for your own? And somebody get off the back porch there, name of Bubba, saunters over, puts down his biscuit back to his piggly wiggly sack, tells you, you're all foam, no head. Uh, you're all foam, no beer. We've been doing that since Christ was a cowboy. This is that idea. I've been working on a high-powered, yeah, your old pal Bob Cratchit here, I've been working on a high-powered load cell, that is a load bank for testing electrical contrivances of the generating kind, either we're gonna fail hard and fail quick, or probably fail quick and then fail hard. Either way, what we're gonna do is use a brine tank that is salt water for our low impedance electrical load so that we can get very high current through it and it doesn't cost us first off need some electrodes aluminum being my choice on account of it's easy to drill up scabby old bucket technically known as a pail excuse me while I kiss this guy now this come from some unearthed arcana in a book there's something to be said for loss of knowledge now I'm not nostalgic in any way about basket weaving or clay pipe making but in this case some actual useful knowledge has been lost or at least, mm, what would you call that, obscurified. Used to be manuals were fantastic, especially the old cat manuals, caterpillar manuals. They were written in a language what everyone could understand. They had a basic lexicon so that if you were uh, in Africa, deepest, darkest Africa, you'd still be able to understand how to rebuild the 398, big Jesus sent it. But nowadays, with the PDFs and the uh, confuser and you got to get the license and so forth, the manuals are so Byzantine and, quite frankly, horrific. We've taken a huge step back in serviceability, which, of course, helps uh, the profit margin. So that's... I will be back in frame momentarily. Oh, the cock crowed twice. Where is that? Baby dolls friends over so hard to tell sometimes maybe she's listening to the view <sighs> water as I said highly toxic dihydrogen monoxide known by the state of cancer to cause California IA to it we got some salt Cauldron bubble and cauldron boil. Them salt crystals mighty large on account of normally being in a water softener. Speaking of the witches from Hamlet, methinks the lady doth protest too much. Harping on and on and on and on for nigh on a year about this boogeyman what's going to get us. Still hasn't. Really got us. Eisenhower had an interesting quote at the end of his tenure as president that the industrial military complex was an unholy monster, that uh, a genie that uh, needs to be put back in the bottle. Of course, it never got put back in the bottle. And the Duke Claw brought this up. You create an industry from whole cloth. Once that ro wheel gets rolling, it ain't fucking stopping. It ain't stopping easy, anyway. You ever notice that uh, a recent virus, one of the only ones I've ever come across that's been colloquially known by the date which it was discovered, 19. So now, what happens when 2022 comes out and you need an update on your McAfee anti 
virus. <laughs> ah, ah, ha! A clue. Oh, old Rusty there, letting us know that the drone strike has been dispatched from the College Imperial. We haven't got much time. We're going to skip ahead a few chapters. It's okay, boys. It's okay. The court jester is beyond contempt, luckily. But there is some truth in jest. <laughs> We're going to stick right into the angried up pixies and yonder wall receptacle. This is a purely resistive load. So if you have a generator that's rated at a certain power factor, you'll have to derate the ampacity. So if it's rated at 80% power factor, yeah, that's working a treat. Look at this. Okay. So it's just a little bit of the electrode touches we get a, a, a proportional amount of current depending on the surface area of the electrode beautiful beautiful hi hair bumblefuck do submit my official submission for the 2021 darwin awards <laughs> we have a liberal application of safety HPHT, a couple of wire nuts, aka Marrettes, and as witness to the folly, uh, a kilowatt, aptly named. Cordak. Okay, here we go. The resolution ain't great, constrained to my palsy. But as you dip the dingus further in, the amperage goes up, 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 up. Beautiful. Until we trip the breaker. One would think, trip the breaker. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. That there is a thing of beauty. Oh, well, we're on 20 amp breakers here in the shop. Reasons. A lot of trip here pretty quick. Look at this. This is working a fucking fantastic. Any time now. That is a purely resistive load. Of the device under test. That's fantastic. It's interesting why that breaker's not tripping. It hasn't hotted up enough. There we go. We killed the kilowatt. Oh, come on, man. It would take me months to replace this. Not only is Amazon jacking up their prices for some odd reason, they're also slam busy. To the fuck it bucket. Or thereabouts. I hear you. So we have a cheap, like Borsch, portable variable resistor. Big deal. What? What's the point? I'm glad you asked that, Project Farm. What we have now is a variable resistor, what we can use to test the veracity of the claims by certain commercial interests, e.g. Generator manufacturers! <laughs>